Hi everybody, uh, today I'm gonna show you about integer variable in Unreal Engine. In this tutorial, you will uh, get to know about integer tutorial, also byte tutorial. So, we don't use uh, byte uh, variable. So, I just create a variable and I name it byte. Its type is byte. Uh, first of all, it will, if we create a variable, it will be boolean. But I select byte. And if I compile it, you see a uh, value we can add a value default value but if we have a boolean uh, you cannot add in any number you just tick and untick so if we uh, drag it it will show two options get and set so get means uh, which value you already have and set means we can you can set the value that's it so if you alter uh, hold alter and control uh, they will show about the variable in detail you can read it and you can uh, see it yourself and if you if you go to the variable type and select uh, the variable type hold the mouse above it and alter and control you will see that a byte is a number between 0 and uh, 255 it's 8 bit number so byte have limitation uh, for example we can add 2 here we can add 100 we can add 200 but we cannot add anything above uh, 255 and we cannot add anything less than 0 which means uh, minus 1 or something like that so i we have uh, add uh, 250 but when we try to add 270 we cannot do that so byte have limitation and we rarely use it in unreal engine if we give uh, minus 1 it will not work it will also not work if we add any point like 5.5 .5 or something like that but byte have uh, many options like we can multiply we can add we can subtract we can division so just add it you can add it multiply it uh, i just create a new uh, variable i name it integer and the type should be integer so integer uh, variable have a large range compared to byte we can get it and set it like the byte so uh, it's uh, integer is a whole number it cannot be a frictional part like 2 minus 6 1045 so we can set it in here like 1 500 uh, 5000 500000 and more which we cannot do in byte so mostly unreal engine use uh, integer compared to byte we cannot go, we can go to the minus value also minus 50 minus 500000 and also here we can add uh, subtract multiply division and other function we can compare it less than greater than so here if you go to the page a byte they uh, show all the action greater than multiply equal maths mean not equal all the function they're in here integer minus integer integer have the same function and even more select int sign warp clamp so you can use this function uh, uh, in your game uh, how you prefer so i uh, right button and i add a even within play and i test the byte first of all i will set it as a get and it's have a default it's have a value 5 we add it and I add a print string and I add the byte to the print string it automatically create a converter if you play you can see I, I have a 5 but also I have uh, something else that written which I added in my uh, cycle controller 
so just uh, disable it disable it now if you play there is no print screen extra print screen so it will only show 5 but we can increase the value like 200 and it will show 200 you can change the color i make it yellow compile and save f11 and alter p now there is only the value 200 in yellow color but we cannot make it 300 because uh, 255 is the match number and we cannot give any minus number so now come to the integer it have zero value and now we can add uh, like uh, 500,000 value which we cannot do in byte but we cannot do point we need a float for this but otherwise yes 500,000 in yellow color So there are many options like add, like uh, we can add a 5 and we can add a 10, it will make a 15. Compile save and if we play 15. So our add worth, it's worth like a cal calculator, we can make a calculator by this. We can multiply also. We have default value of 5 and if we multiply with 10 it will make 50 play and there is the 50 we can also like divide we can subtract we have 5 we can minus 2 and it will make 3 3 we can also divide we have 5 we can divide with 10 and integer value i give uh, 50 so it will uh, divide like 5 yes 5 so our every function working perfectly delete all of this add the integer as a set we can use integer as our uh, making minute second so i added delay and i just added delay one second and after one second i will add uh, a plus value and i will add one add it already we have 15 and now if we play it will show like 51 after one second but it's not showing because we don't add the print string we need to add the print string and we just i just add uh, one here so i add a print string and i just add I can add it here and add it from the set so it will after one second it will show two there is a two so we can use it as a like uh, increase in minute second uh, we can make it uh, uh, use this uh, variable to make a function like the timer so I add event it it run after every frame it have a delta second option which run in every frame frame by frame and I delete the disconnect the begin play and I add the integer value to zero it will start from zero after one second one two three four five six like that like a timer one two three and it will run after one second so this is how we can make a timer I will show it in I will show it in detail so 15 16 17 and it will go on and go on Now we can use the integer in a different way like uh, uh, point collecting 
in many games we have a function like point toilet in and it is increased in the value after we uh, uh, toilet a po certain point or trail a certain type certain number of enemy uh, our game is over so i will do it do that so go to the th third person bp and i make a count and it should be integer i am using in my uh, third person character because i can use it in our level and in the our actor blueprint the bp toilet so i set the count and i also get that count and i add one whenever i collect one it will destroy uh, the actor the actor will destroy himself and uh, one point one collect in store in my pillar character third person character bp so i add a few more function like i add a get player character and class to a third person character i make a pure cast and i name it player I add a sequence as mouse left button and I get the player and from here I get my reference count. I add a branch B mouse left button. Branch have a condition true or false. So from here I get the count. And if it's equal to th uh, three i add three collectible bp and if it's true print a string if we collect uh, three uh, rotating uh, apple or bots then uh, it will show you collect three bots or we can show you win the game whatever you want so compile and save now go to the bp collect and drag and drop to the level it will rotate herself or itself duplicate one duplicate make it three so if we play uh, nothing happen one two three four normal basic we collect one bots we collect two bots so nothing happen but if we collect three bots it will show you collect three bots so this is how you can make your game function game logic and use it as your own way I just show you. So this is for today's tutorial. Bye bye everybody.